I wanted to make a video about how to use a triple barrel waver. So I have the Con Air Double Ceramic Triple Barrel Waver. The reason why it's called Double Ceramic is because it's fully ceramic. The top and the bottom are ceramic. And it's called a Triple Barrel Waver because there's three barrels, but then the plate is on top. This gives you a nice S curl. It gives you the shape of the barrel. It's not a crimper, but it's similar to a crimper. A crimper is a lot smaller, but this is a triple barrel waver. So I already pre-sectioned my hair. I do three sections. I go behind each ear straight up, part out of my way, and I go from the tops of my ears back. But now I'm gonna split it in half and I always start in the back. Let me get my heat protectant. Because I'm using a barrel waver, I'm not going to use my um, heat protecting hairspray. I'm just going to use my normal heat protectant, which is the Matrix Mega Sleek. Spray that once. Spray it once. Brush it through. Split in half. Grab the section of hair. Now I like mine more textured, so I'll do one section with the plate up. Then the next section I'll flip it over and do the plate down. So they don't the, the waves don't go together, they'll go against each other and they'll give more texture. But you can do them the same exact way every time but the waves are going to be together so it'll be more wavy you'll have you'll still have texture but less texture so take a piece on the bottom i start with the plate down because i want the end of the wave to flip up instead of flip under so take the section oh and i have it on number excuse me number 25 and I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, that's 250 degrees. Between 250 and 300, it's somewhere in there. Open it up. Put it on your hair. Clamp it down. Wait about five seconds. So one, two, three, four, five. Let go. Slide down. The bottom barrel where you clamped will now be where the top barrel's at. Clamp down. One, two, three, four, five. Five, open, slide down, clamp, one, two, three, four, five. And that's how you get that really pretty wave. On this side, I'll do the same thing. Clamp down, one, two, three, four, five. Open, slide down, clamp. One, two, three, four, five. Open, slide down, clamp. And you'll do this on your entire head. You can hold it a little bit longer if you want, so it's a little bit of a tighter wave. You can just like, if you want to clamp it down for a couple of seconds and let go, it'll be a looser wave. I keep it separated so I don't get um, the hair mixed in together. I don't want to re-crimp what I just crimped or waved. Grab the straight hairs, spray, brush, get all the tangles out, section it in the middle, pull it forward, grab the straight hair that I didn't Wave. Make sure I got it. Do I have all of it? Yeah, I do. Now I'm going to have the barrel on top. When the barrel's on top, the ends of your hair are going to be curled towards your face instead of away. I'm not a big fan of this deep waver, or this waver. It's not necessarily a deep waver. There is a difference between a triple barrel waver and a deep waver. A deep waver, um, it's a lot 
bigger of a wave. So this one's probably only an inch, a deep waver, that looking at it this way, it's like two inches wide. So it makes it way deeper. So this section, I'm gonna have the plate facing down. Up, I'm gonna have it up, not down, I lied, sorry. Go in, one, two, three, four, five. This way is a little bit difficult to find where your end crimp is, so I just take it completely out. I find it and go back over it. Two, three, four, five. Take it out, find where I ended. One, two, three, four, five. The reason why I have this Con Air triple waver instead of more of like a um, more of a higher end name brand is because I don't use it that often, so I don't feel it's necessary to go and buy an expensive one if I don't use it that much. This one's okay. I do not like the heat setting. I hit it a lot. I wish they would move it like somewhere different because I, sw I switch it a lot. It's really easy to move. One, two, three, four, five. Take it out. Find where I ended. Just dropped a piece of hair. Open it. In. One, two, three, four, five. Find where I ended. Go back in. One, two, three, four. Five. That's how you get that nice texture. I'm gonna finish up my head and I'll come back. Okay, so now I'm on my finishing up my right side. See how pretty that is? Okay. Sorry it keeps getting dark and then light. Sectioning. I usually do, this is my thicker side of my hair, so I usually do four or five sections. Subsections, whatever you want to call it. The first one I did, the plates were on the bottom. Now my second part, I'm going to do the plate on the top. Usually when I do my root area, I only hold it for about three seconds and then further down, I'll hold it for a little bit longer. I usually hold it around 10 seconds because I like it to be a little bit tighter around my face. And this is third day dirty hair and I've already flat ironed and curled it so it's not gonna be as textured as it normally would be. That was eight seconds. Look how pretty that is. Okay. Two more sections. I do not um, wave my bangs. I leave those straight. I don't like waving my bangs. Now the plate's under again, around the bottom. Yes, I count out loud. And then the top section. Let my veins fall out. The top section I'll split into two. The one behind, I'll do the this want this section away from my face I'm gonna do with the plate on the bottom the one around my face I'm gonna do with the plate on the top 
because I liked having a little bit different texture around my face. section again I'm gonna flip it so the plate is on the top side because I curled it so much the other day it didn't crimp or wave as well as I would like to so I'm gonna go back in just grab a big section and try and get some more texture in there I like doing um, the the waver usually on second or third day hair I don't like doing it after that because then I won't get so much texture Just going in, taking just big sections and putting it in there to put more texture back in there. I don't really care about the back of my head. There, and then once you're done, turn this off. Just run your fingers through it and get it laying how you want it to lay. love big textured hair like that's so cute my hair looks so blue it's not blue it's so weird how it looks blue it's like this green you see it my hair is all that color I don't know why it picks up so blue yeah it's green but yeah that's how you use a triple barrel waver or deep waver. You do the same thing with a deep waver.